All right, so we are trying something new. It is after a day of taping, and we are joined by some of the crew. We got Seth, uh, our DP, Justin, our talent producer, Carlos and JT on uh, camera, and uh, yours truly. Um, what do you think of how the day went? It's good. It ended better than it started. Why? It was more fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is true. That's I mean, we true. certainly asked a lot of them, and they pretty much delivered everything that we could have asked for, especially time. That's That was the biggest. Yeah, his team was a yeah. dream to work with. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the fact that we got to use that setup for the interview, and they didn't charge us anything. Each one of those lights in the background is 400 a day. Oh, yeah? And they gave it to us for free. There you go. Yeah. And did, did you feel like uh, we were wearing out our welcome at any point? Uh, I don't think we were wearing out our welcome. I mean, Joe's a busy guy. He's got a family at home, but uh, his manager, Warren, did say that I can tell when when Joey's had enough and he doesn't have that look on his face he seems to be having fun so they let us go a little longer than we asked which we always appreciate yeah I feel like uh, I feel like you really brought brought him deep into his past and uh, you know in the beginning he was you know kind of warming up to you and then I just I just kind of saw how he just you know got more passionate about what he was talking about so I thought that was awesome your first shoot it was my first shoot with um, us at least yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little scared for uh, the safety of Carlos. <laughs> when I saw the smelk, I was like, oh no, is he gonna we'll, hit him? We'll get to that, we'll get to yeah, that. Yeah, so foreshadowing, but. We, yeah. we can get right into that. That's probably where <laughs> okay, we should have I mean, started. Right. Uh, no, let's Carlos talk about the interview for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, great. So tell me what's going, we can start with you, but what's going through each of your guys' minds as that's going on? Yeah, so I mean, we got to the racetrack. Uh, we're kind of figuring out how to set up. We saw the drift truck. Drift truck was great, looked awesome. Set up the GoPros, and once we've positioned everybody, uh, uh, Joey drove the drift truck with Graham, and uh, we got some pretty cool experiences. Yeah, but so. what are you thinking oh. as we're like coming right at you? Oh, coming out. Okay. Well, one thing I do remember was there was so much smoke buildup that. It just seems something from like a horror movie. So you, you see all this smoke, and then you see this car vroom, yeah. coming through. I was like, ah! I'll be honest, there's a couple times where I saw Joey whipping around, and I'm like, I'm not entirely certain he can see five feet in front That's of him and yeah. see Seth or Carlos. I was like, can he see me, right? He can see me. He can see me, right? Okay. So that's yeah. funny. That, that crossed my mind, and I was in the car with him. I'm like, I, I think he still knows. Were you able are. to see us through the smoke? Yeah, but it was starting to get dicey, and there was enough that I'm like, I wonder if. He's just not, he'll forget yeah. about somebody. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, please yeah. don't, don't Over there. Us. And then what yeah. surprised me was he ended up going in between both of you that one time. Yeah, and yeah. that was so cool. You were like leaning, starting <laughs> to lean to the side. And then when he started going, like, you like fly the other way. Yeah. Uh, and you? I'm realizing now I should have been more nervous than I was. <laughs> yeah. I know that he hadn't realized that he went between us. And I assumed yeah. you guys could see us the whole time. Yeah, Wait, you didn't realize he went between? Crazy, yeah. I thought he, I know he was going around Carlos yeah. and I. And then yeah. the, 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 this is the first time. Before, smoke, yeah, literally, I couldn't. Right, yeah. We before we see. changed the tires, it was the first time that he zipped right. He went right through us. Yeah. He's, I mean, you know, when you're dealing with a pro, just let them do their thing, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I'm more concerned that JT and Carlos are f***ing everything up. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. No. No, I, I no, Something like that is tough. You, it's yeah, tough, it's tough to go worried. into something like that where it's so, there's so much going on and... He's going trying to figure out the best places to put yeah. cameras when you haven't seen exactly what he's going to be it's doing. It's a big space, too. Yeah. He was going so fast. Oh, my God. Like, trying to track him, just like... Yeah, oh. you've been nervous in the past about experiences like this where you feel like it was going faster than it looks, but I think you could be happy with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... I think he was going... They were saying probably about 120, maybe 130 at one point when he was yeah. hitting the straight. Yeah. He's, and I think... He, I thought he said 150. Joey did. But oh, maybe, really? maybe yeah. he did. Um, Joey did say 130. I, I wasn't nervous like tagging along for that the only point for whatever reason it like dawned on me the second time through you know his guy travis who manages all the cars for him i just remember thinking like i hope this guy's good because you know he's like <laughs> flying and then slamming on the brakes and i'm like what if he didn't like tighten one of those <laughs> i think he knew uh, what he was doing <laughs> right but you know uh, that's all it would have taken and you'd like <laughs> yeah. wheel fly off and you'd go like into one of those you didn't have that thought until holes. you got in the truck though but you didn't have that thought till you got in the i truck. didn't have that thought till like the end of the second time <laughs> yeah, yeah. i actually have a question for you graham <laughs> yes, how sir? was it like sitting on that chair in that drift truck being <laughs> so low to the ground and yeah you can't see that but those are actually metal folding chairs <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i mean it was a tight squeeze yeah and then made it all the more difficult having the uh, audio bag <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> in there. Um, 
But it, yeah, it was it was fun. Yeah, because uh, I actually had Mario sit on the passenger seat. I was like, hey, Mario, go ahead and sit in the passenger seat <laughs> because I, I want to see how this looks like. He sat down and was like, oh no, I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> you really felt that way? It was, it was tight. I, I mean, like, I, it was, yeah. it's hard to get out yeah. of that thing. I don't know how he. I sat in it too, and the steering wheel was set like here, mm -hmm. unless it yeah. came down. I saw the look on Carlos's face. He was like, he'll fit in there. He'll fit in there. I, th <laughs> the, I think he'll fit in there. The, the other thing that uh, crossed my mind after I got all buckled in and he's flying, um, you know, like these cars catch fire sometimes. <laughs> and he, he did say at the end, um, he's like, we've just stopped the, the, the wheel, yeah. just caught fire. Um, and I'm like, well, f like something does go wrong. I don't even know how I would get myself out of here. Like, I, I didn't know how to, like, good, buckle yeah. the stuff or any of that. But. And I was up there thinking, this is my first shoot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got it kind of thrown in the fire, got huh? Got the bird's eye view, and, uh, yeah, I was just like, wait, wait, is Carlos still there? Is he mm -hmm. still there? <laughs> how do you think you did? I think I did pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pretty proud of what I did, but I think I'll be editing it we'll as see. well, so we'll see. And, and you'll be editing this, too, so yeah. you can... Make yourself look excellent. Yeah, before I pass it off to Colin. Yeah. Um, one of the questions, and again, we're trying this for the first time. So uh, one of the questions that was sent to us was why Joey Logano? Um, on my end, um, first, like, kind of a no-brainer. I mean, it's going into NASCAR season. It's the guy that won the championship, uh, won two of them, mm -hmm. um, and has really cool story. I mean, this is, you know, he... Was given a bit of a hard time kind of early on in his career because people thought, okay, here's this, you know, rich kid who hasn't earned his spot. When um, in reality, I think one of the things that was really cool about talking to him is first, he owns his circumstances. Mm -hmm. He grew up well off and he made the most of his opportunity. And the same can't be said for a, a lot of people. And you don't become a two time champion because you have money, you become a two-time champion um, because you make the most of, you know, the circumstances in which you've been born and worked your ass off. I think one of the coolest things about him is, is he signed a pro contract when he was 15. Guy couldn't even drive a car, but he signed a professional racing contract. Yeah. And in the interview, he actually said, my sister used to drop me off at Joe Gibbs Racing when I was a kid or a teen. But I mean, and then he gets into the pro circuit at 18 and doesn't have the success I think that he thought he was even going to have. He said as much. Mm. And I mean, had to deal with, that's, I mean, you talk about some intense like expectations at the age of 18, 19 years old. I mean, I think about myself at 18 or 19, I certainly couldn't have lived up to that. So, I mean, he dealt with a lot of adversity at a young, young age and, and is and, better for it. And, and he, I think that was one of the cool things to talk to him about. It's like having gone through that and struggled so much during that period that he credits with what has allowed him to have he, all where the he's right su now. success now. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. okay, so coming into a, a shoot like today, we've obviously done a number of them together. Um, like what stresses you out? Because I know it's like you tend to, like the lead up to a, a shoot is kind of when you're most on edge, right? It, t depending on the shoot. Shoots like this, honestly, I don't get nervous for anymore. Um, I've just done it so much, and it's... Today, I mean, is fa a fairly easy day for us compared to what we've done in the past, and we got to sleep last night and stuff like that. But, I Which mean, is amazing to consider, like this. Yeah, it, honestly, it, the, the situations like this, when we found out yesterday we were going to be shooting in their big studio, what makes me nervous is, okay, I have the access to make this look incredible. I, I just hope I don't f it up. Um, but as soon as I start seeing cameras and all that stuff, I, it all, it all washes away. And what about you guys? What? Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean the last part that you said. I hope I don't f it up. That's kind of that's kind of where I was at the entire day. But <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, these these guys really helped guide me. I was like, hey, Carlos, you know, I'm just I don't want to ask. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm like I'm a natural, but yeah. I, mean, I feel very comfortable with working with this crew, knowing them, and being able to set up things and that I'm familiar with. So, yeah. We were tweaking life to the last minute on this one. At least I was. It seemed that way. Yeah. But it's just, it's a huge space and you need really powerful lights to, to yeah. fill it out and we don't travel with really, really powerful lights. And, and, then you, and then you stressed me out at the start of the shoot saying I was all 
uh, shiny. You were shiny. Cut to Graham's yeah. shiny ass forehead. We almost got you some makeup at the last minute, but I'm kind of glad we laid off of it. Really? Would you rather me not say something? No, I. Because I mean, what if it didn't it, match it, your actually, face? Actually, I might have had makeup in my car. That no, I didn't have same come on. Same thing. Well, because that, I would have had to get up, unlock the car. No, no, I know why. It's because you asked Joey, have you ever used makeup? And he said wait, no. Wait, I thought that was after that. I, I made a conscious decision this morning not to put any makeup on because I'm like, it just... I think, you know, I think you felt sometime, a little intimidated by the two-time well, uh, Cup I, Series champ. I think we taped, you know, an episode recently where we had somebody put makeup on us and I just, there was so much caked on me that it like yeah. starts to make you look older. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know, that was my You're hesitation. not young, Graham. I, I, and that's my thing, I'm not young anymore. Um, all right, before we go, um, highlight for each of you guys uh, uh, from the day. Oh, pretty obvious, right? Yeah, definitely I'm moving donuts there. around us and yeah, yeah, seeing, and especially knowing I was shooting in slow-mo and seeing a, that truck coming at me sideways through smoke. Got some cool footage for sure. Yeah, that's seeing it all from a bird's eye view. I mean, I just I saw where everybody was and yeah. Okay, wait. You guys are all saying the same. I, thing. Well, then for the sake for really the sake trying. of giving a different answer, I'll say I think the coolest part was like as the day was going on, we were clearly like 30, 45 minutes, an hour over. Mm -hmm. Joey still seemed to be having a good time, yeah. and at at the end of the day, that's what these tapings are about, you know. And all right, then yeah. one more too. Um, something you guys heard him say in the interview um, that you thought was interesting since we haven't touched on that at all <sighs> I mean I respect I respect that he you know owns up to the fact that he was young you know he was he was a young bull you know didn't really know much you know and the fact that he said that you know he pretty much had a silver spoon in his mouth and uh, how he kind of humbled over time a lot of people can't do that you yeah. know he didn't let it you know drive him to ashes if I had rich parents, I'd be chilling in their guest house right now. <laughs> so, kudos to him for making something yeah. on his own. I, you know what, the, now that I think about it, the one thing that he, he did say when he was talking about the, his pregnancy struggles with his wife, he said, you know, it's not a life or death thing, it's not like cancer, he said, but it's still a struggle that people face every day, and to them it's, it, it matters and it's important, and you know, it's important to remember that at some point someone has something going on like that that's a struggle to them. And I thought that was like a poignant, you know, thing to say. Yeah, it was mine too. <laughs> uh, I think my favorite thing was just listening to him talk about his dad. You know, it's like, uh, watched all the interview, or most of the interviews he had done as part of the prep for this. And it was just, you know, you never really saw him get emotional talking about anybody close to him. And it was like cool that, you know, you can tell like how much that relationship means to to him. And yeah, I mean, like, how many dads will, their son says, hey, I'm into car racing, okay, and, and helps him fix the car after weekends as a kid. I hope my son doesn't get into car racing. I can't even change my oil. <laughs> but, in, I mean, the dad, you know, committed like a decade of his life to yeah. doing nothing but just being there for his kid. You know, wasn't working anymore and was just, yeah, so. I don't know. Yeah, it makes me realize how big of a piece of my dad is. <laughs> Well, you said it. <laughs> okay. Never met him. Um, anyway, so, yeah. So, Joey seemed to have a good experience. We had a good experience. His team's great. And that's kind of yeah. all you yeah. can ask they were, for. They were something fantastic. Like this. So, absolutely. And that is a wrap. Cool. 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 Um, before we cut, did you guys, is there anything I didn't ask you guys that you wanted to... <laughs> Wait, pa painless, right?